Church Milton has published numerous reports praising and promoting the traditional Latin Mass. In fact, many, many of the people here at our staff go to the traditional Latin Mass. We've also been honest about serious problems, however, in traditional communities. Church Milton senior producer Christine Niles reviews some startling cases as a warning to those who idealize traditionalism. With the liturgical abuse of many parishes, some Catholics have sought refuge in the traditional Latin Mass. With its reverent liturgy, orthodox sermons, and sacred surroundings. Many make the mistake, however, of idealizing traditional clergy, believing they're holier than others simply because they offer the ancient liturgy. As many stories of clergy abuse reveal, the traditionalist community on this score is no better than the wider church. The grand architect. Father Jürgen Wegner, former U.S. District Superior of the Society of St. Pius X, the SSPX, was caught on audio admitting to far more abuse cases than he'll let on publicly. And there are hundreds of cases. To me, to me of what I know, there might be anything between, let's say, five and 200 cases of abuse. The current district superior, Father John Fullerton. My role is to take care of the priest, to make sure that we're using the priest properly. Has also been involved in abuse cover-up ordering victims of notorious predator Father Benedict Vanderputten not to report his sexual assaults to police and ordering whistleblowers to silence. Because of it's a sin of detraction, essentially, to talk about a priest in a negative light. So what Father John Fullerton said to you is you cannot warn these girls because it would be the mortal sin of detraction. Yes. Numerous other cases of SSPX cover-up abound. But even the priestly fraternity of St. Peter, the FSSP, in full communion with the church, is not exempt from scandal. Hundreds of images and file, video files depicting such child pornography. In October, the former rector of its Nebraska seminary, Father James Jackson, was arrested for possession and distribution of child porn. Also, Father Benoit Guichard, a professor at the seminary, sued last year for allegedly molesting a 12-year-old dozens of times. With the Pope placing new restrictions on the ancient mass, Catholics are flocking to traditional communities, seeking safe haven. But too many are idealizing them, falsely assuming such communities are a guarantee against evil. As too many cases prove, they aren't. Christine Niles, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. Among the latest traditional communities to be exposed, the Wyoming Carmelites, known for their mystic monk coffee. A former novice there is now blowing the whistle on disturbing things he experienced behind monastery walls, soon to be revealed in tonight's premiere of Spotlight Counterfeit Carmel. 